Hello and welcome to this lesson in our study of linear algebra. This is lesson 2. In this lesson, we talk about dual basis. Okay, so um, you can correct this one dual basis. So, a dual basis um, is a set of vectors that forms a basis for the dual space of a vector space. Okay, so for a finite dimensional vector space V, the dual space is isomorphic to V. Okay, this means that this dual space is homomorphic and it is bijective. Okay, in other ways, it is homomorphic, it is surjective, and it is also injective. Okay, when we say it is surjective, it means that it is um onto and it is for injective it is what um one to one okay that's why we say um when we say v star is what isomorphic to v so it is homomorphic to v and it is also bijective to v okay then for any given set of basis vectors e1 up to these are basis vectors okay of v then there is associated dual basis of v star okay so let's study a certain theorem okay suppose that you have set of vectors v1 up to vn this is a basis of v over k then we choose another set of vectors that says so that the vectors are the they form the basis of a dual basis okay so we choose vectors um, phi 1 up to phi n, okay, to be linear functional um, defined by this, okay. So that's phi i vj, okay, you can make that correction, vj, not vi, phi i vj equals to delta ij, and this has two possible um, results. It is 1 if i is equal to j, and it is 0 if i is not equal to j and this from the Kronecker delta function okay then phi 1 up to phi n is a basis of what v star right now let's solve some examples we are not going to study the proofs okay so um let's solve examples okay so Okay, 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 okay. Good, 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 good. Um, you see, we have first example. We have to consider the following basis of our to that's two dimension. Okay, v one two dimension, v two two dimension, two dimension. Okay. So now v one is um. 2, 1, and v2 is 3, 1. You have to find the corresponding dual basis, phi 1 and phi 2, okay? So we can let phi 1, okay, that's phi 1 of x, y, b, a, x plus b, y, and phi 2 to be c, s plus z, y, okay? Such that, this from the definition, okay? This from the, um, sorry, sorry, sorry. This from the definition, okay where is it this from the definition good we have it here this from this definition okay just from this definition so now um we have phi 1 v1 equals to 1 phi 1 v2 equals 0 phi 2 v1 equals to 0 and phi 2 v2 equals to 1 okay so phi 1 v1 Phi 1 V1 is given by um, 2A plus B equals to 1, okay? Because Phi 1 can also be written as AB, okay? And that's Phi 1. Phi 2 can also be written as CD, okay? So Phi 1 v1 is given by phi1 transpose v1 okay that is a b then v1 is given by 2 1 okay 
So when you solve this, you get 2a plus b equals to 1. The same thing applies to 51v2. You go through the same process. Then you solve these two equations simultaneously. Okay. So when you do you do that, you get negative 1 for a and um, 3 for b. Okay. The same thing applies to these two equations. You solve them simultaneously okay so when you do that um you get um phi one you get um phi one to be that you see phi one is um ax plus by but we know our a to be negative one and b to be three right so therefore our phi one will be what negative x plus three y then phi two was um cx plus dy okay but here's the case that when after solving the equation simultaneously we had one for c and negative two for d right so our phi two is given by x minus two y okay our phi two is given by x minus two y okay then that's all okay that's all you see it's so so simple right mathematics is interesting okay now let's solve let's solve another um question okay another standard question okay um i think i have it here good so you can you can pause this video and try your hands on this interesting question okay you can pause the video and try your hands on this question let's consider the following basis of that's three dimension okay we have um we have v1 to be neg one negative one three v2 to be zero one negative one and v3 to be zero three negative two you have to find a dual basis phi one phi two phi three okay so first of all we let phi one phi one of x y z to be a one x plus a two y plus a three z okay then from definition that phi i v g is one if i equals j and phi one um is zero if i is not equal to what j okay so we can use this definition to solve our problem so now phi 1 v1 is phi 1 transpose v1 okay and we know that phi 1 is phi 1 transpose is a1 a2 a3 okay and our v1 is um 1 negative 1 3 okay so when we multiply we get a1 times 1 which is a1 plus a2 times negative 1 is negative a2 so when positive and negative sign meet we choose a negative sign so we have negative a2 here then a3 times a is or 3a3 since 1 you see this phi 1 v1 they have the same subscript so we equate to 1 that's from definition okay so we have equation 1 to be a1 minus a2 plus 3a3 equals to 1 okay now phi 1 v2 is given by phi 1 transpose v2 then we have this we have v2 to be 0 1 negative 1 when you simplify you have you get what a2 minus a3 equals to 0 okay it is 0 because 1 is not equal to 2 very good phi 1 v3 is phi 1 transpose v3 right this phi 1 uh, v3 is 0 3 negative 2 when you simplify you have 3 a2 minus 2 a3 equals to 0 so we solve equations 1 2 and 3 simultaneously okay we solve equation 1 2 and 3 simultaneously let's move on to the next page good so from equation 2 okay so let's refer to equation 2 um let's refer to equation 2 where is equation 2 okay we have equation two here okay equation two the, the this is equation two that's a2 minus a3 equals to 
zero a2 minus a3 equals to zero so from equation two we can rewrite equation two as a2 equals to a3 and name it as equation four now we can substitute equation four into equation three this is um where is equation three um good 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 we have it here this is equation three right so we can substitute equation four into this equation okay we can substitute equation four into this equation so when we do that we we have three a two three a two minus two a two equals to zero when we solve for a we get to what zero and since a2 is equal to a3, it implies that a3 is also equal to 0. Then after getting a2 and a3, we substitute them into our first equation, okay? So our first equation is given by a1 minus a2 plus 3a3 equals to 1. But we know that a1 and a2 is equal to 0. Sorry, a2 and a3 equals to 0. So when we substitute it into the equation, then you solve for a, we have a to the 1 okay therefore phi one which is phi one which is um a sub one x plus a sub two y plus a sub three z is given by um x because this is how it will be you see phi one of x y z okay that will be since we have one x plus our a to is zero so zero y plus zero z okay and this is the same as that okay so that's phi one that's phi one okay that's phi one so now let's move on to the next one phi two phi two so also we let phi two to be um b sub one x plus b sub two y plus b sub three z okay so we go through the whole process again so phi two v1 is given by this phi two transpose v1 um we know have v1 to be one negative one three when you go to we, we multiply this by this we have equation one that's b1 minus b2 plus 3b3 equals zero we move on to the next step um phi 2 v2 okay so that's v phi 2 transpose v2 when we solve for this you have equation two okay you get equation two it's equal to one because two is equal to two okay go to um you multiply phi 2 by v3 you go through the same process okay you go through the same process again when you do that um we have equation 3 okay we have equation 3 there so now we solve equations 1 2 and 3 simultaneously we solve for the unknown so we can we can use the Kramer's rule okay or the normal um elimination and substitution method okay the case is yours see you have so many ways of solving mass problems okay you choose the one which you are very very comfortable with okay so um from equation in equation two we let uh we make b to the subject in equation two so where is equation two let's let's refer to equation two here is equation two good from equation this is equation two yeah so we make b to the subject so when we make b to the subject we have one plus b3 we have one plus b3 so now this is what we have here so solving equation two and three simultaneously we let b2 equals one plus b3 in equation two okay so we make um equation two the subject uh, sorry, we make B to the subject in equation two. Okay, then we substitute it into the third equation. The third equation is actually um three B two minus two B three. Okay, so when we substitute B two into equation three, we have so this one plus B three 
represents b2 okay so we have 3 multiplied by 1 plus b3 minus 2b3 okay when we expand the bracket we have 3 minus 3b3 minus 2b3 equals 0 when you solve this we have we have um negative 3 for b3 okay then we can substitute negative 3 from here okay from this we can substitute negative 3 into this equation so when we do that we have 1 plus negative 3 equals to this is equal to 1 minus 3 and this uh, negative 2 okay now we have we have solved for b2 and v b1 so we can substitute b2 and b1 into the first equation we can substitute b2 and b1 into the first equation so um so we substitute b2 and b2 equals to negative 2 and b3 equals to negative 3 into equation 1 so when we do that we have b1 minus negative 2 plus 3 multiplied by negative 3 equals to 0 okay so when we simplify it we have um 7 for b1 okay so therefore our file 2 file 2 was actually file 2 of xyz that's three dimension was actually b1 x plus b2 y plus b3 z okay so we have our b1 to be so 7 x plus b2 b2 is um negative 2 so negative 2 y minus 3 z okay so that's what we have here that's what we have here so now let's move on to um five three let's move on to five three so we let um five three of x y z be c one sub x sorry c one c sub one x plus c sub two y plus um c sub three z okay that's what we have here then um we multiply phi by each of the vector so we have phi 3 v1 to be phi 3 transpose v1 when you simplify it you equate to 0 because 3 is not equal to 1 you have equation 1 that is c1 c1 minus c2 plus 3 c3 equals to 0 the same thing applies to phi 3 v2 you multiply you find a dot product of phi 3 and v2 you get c2 minus c3 equals to 0 then phi 3 v3 should be equal to 1 since 3 is equal to 3 okay then we solve equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 simultaneously okay so um when you do that um you get you get um c2 to be 1 c3 to be 1 and c1 to be negative 2 so therefore phi 3 will be negative 2x plus y plus z okay so therefore the dual basis is um you have first dual basis that's phi 1 to be x phi 2 to be 7x minus 2y minus 3z and um and phi 3 to be negative negative 2x plus y plus z this is the end of this lesson thank you